Hello, Monetization Nation. This is a Sunday episode, and I'm Nathan Gwilliam, your host. In today's episode, we're going to discuss the power of patience, based on a sermon given by an American scholar, educator, and religious leader, Neil Maxwell. And this is a particularly important topic for me to learn about, since patience is definitely not one of my strong suits. Maxwell explained, quote, patience is not indifference. Actually, it means caring very much, but being willing nevertheless to submit to the Lord and to what the scriptures call the process of time, unquote. As entrepreneurs, we often have to be patient for success. According to freshbooks.com, most small businesses take at least two to three years to become profitable and only become truly successful once they've hit the seven to 10 year mark. Seven years is a long time to wait for success. We may get discouraged and want to quit. However, we should trust in the Lord's timing. Quote, when we are unduly impatient, we are suggesting that we know what is best better than God does, or at least we are asserting that our timetable is better than his, unquote. Source for that is Maxwell. Hebrews 10, 36 says, quote, For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise, unquote. There are countless companies that had to wait for their success. Airbnb is one of them. The company started back in 2008, as nothing more than a couple of air beds on a floor in San Francisco. Its founders knew their idea was worth pursuing, but they were desperate for cash. They couldn't get investors, so they sold hundreds of special edition cereal boxes to raise the money. Five years later, they were valued at $2.5 billion, source The Atlantic. As of January 2021, the company's valuation was more than $100 billion, source Bloomberg. As Maxwell said, patience is not indifference. It is not idly sitting by waiting for things to happen. The founders of Airbnb couldn't get investors, so they found their own way to make it happen. Having patience doesn't mean we can't do anything about our dreams. We should be actively working towards them, even though they may take a long time to accomplish. I remember my first venture, Adoption.com, starting it as a college student in a college computer lab. This concept was very appropriate, very true for, for me. I remember it took us years before we hit that profitability as well. And we generated cash through lots of other ways, such as selling domain names. We would buy domain names and, and then resell them. In the early days of domain name sales, you used to be able to register a domain name, and then you had 90 days uh, to pay for the domain name. They sent you an invoice and you had to pay it. And if you didn't pay it within 90 days, they would take that domain name away from you. And so we registered a bunch of domain names, and then we went out and tried to sell domain names. And those that we sold, we transferred to the new buyers after we paid the registration fee. And those that we weren't able to sell, we let expire. And so we didn't tie up our capital with that. And that's just an ex- one example of how we generated some of that seed capital in those early days. Maxwell said, quote, how many times have good individuals done the right thing only to break or wear away under subsequent stress, canceling out much of the value of what they had already so painstakingly done? Sometimes that which we are doing is correct enough, but simply needs to be persisted in patiently not for a minute or for a moment, but sometimes for years. Paul speaks of the marathon of life and of how we must run with patience the race that is set before us, unquote. And that's Hebrews 12, 21. So here are four reasons why we should strive to be patient in our business and how patience can help us. Number one, patience helps us avoid bad decision-making. Impatience can lead to making hasty decisions that can have a negative impact on our company. If we decide something without truly considering all of our options because we just want to get to the next thing, we can seriously hurt our company. For example, if we rush to get a product out that's not ready, customers who buy that product or consider buying it will see it's not ready and lose trust in us. But if we had slowed down and considered what it would mean to launch the product, we would have realized this was a bad decision. Number two, patience helps us set realistic expectations. Not being patient can lead us to set expectations that aren't realistic for ourselves, our teams, and others. We may think something can be accomplished in a certain amount of time, 
But when it takes longer, we may blame ourselves or others. This can lead to bad relationships with others and harmful thoughts about ourselves. With patience, however, it's easier to assess the situation and come up with a more accurate timeline. If that timeline still doesn't work, we're more likely to forgive ourselves and others for not meeting the deadline. This isn't to say that there shouldn't be consequences for not meeting deadlines or other goals, but with patience, we can better deal with these goals. Number three, patience can help us build better relationships. Along with helping us set realistic expectations for others, patience can help us with our relationships in general. Say we have an employee who does something we don't agree with or makes a mistake. It's easy to simply get mad at them and question why they don't agree with us or why they don't do things our way. But with patience, we can step back and see things from their point of view. We can then understand the reasons behind their thoughts and actions. Part of knowing people is understanding them, and patience really allows us to do that much better. We can sit down and have a conversation with them instead of ignoring their perspective or judging their situation unfairly. Who knows, maybe we'll even come to the conclusion that they were right or find out that they did actually save us money. Maybe we'll be able to see the world more clearly from their perspective. Maxwell explained how patience and time can affect relationships through examples from the Bible. He said, quote, The passage of time is not by itself an automatic cure for bad choices. But often individuals like the prodigal son can, in the process of time, come to their senses. The touching reunion of Jacob and Esau in the desert so many years after their youthful rivalry is a classic example of how generosity can replace animosity when truth is mixed with time. When we're unduly impatient, we are, in effect, trying to hasten an outcome when this kind of acceleration would be to abuse agency, unquote. Mata Amritan Adamai, an Indian spiritual leader, guru, and humanitarian, said, quote, If you have patience, then you'll also have love. Patience leads to love. Number four, reflect and prepare. While writing the sermon, Maxwell realized that the in-between periods of life give us time to reflect on what we've been through, as well as prepare for what's ahead. Maxwell said, quote, Personal relevance of patience, among many things, permits us to deal more effectively with the unevenness of life's experiences. I recorded the substance of the speech about three months ago while driving to a conference in Elko, Nevada, across that rather barren but beautiful, in its own way, stretch of desert. Incidentally, as soon as most of the speech on patience was dictated, my car threw two belt fans. During that drive, it was brought forcibly to me that seeming flat periods of life give us a blessed chance to reflect upon what is past as well as to be readied for some of the rather stirring climbs ahead. Instead of grumbling and murmuring, we should be consolidating and reflecting, which would not be possible if life were an uninterrupted sequence of fantastic scenery, confrontive events, and exhilarating conversation." Unquote. We aren't meant to go from one successive or exciting event in life directly to another. We need time in between to process what we've been through and then plan for what's ahead. For example, we can take the time in between product launches to reflect on what went well or what didn't in the last launch. We can take what we've learned and apply it to improve the next launch. Quote, patience helps us to use rather than to protest these seemingly flat periods of life, becoming filled with quiet wonder over the past and with anticipation for that which may lie ahead instead of demeaning the particular flatness through which we may be passing at the time. We should savor even the seemingly ordinary times, for life cannot be made up all of kettle drums and crashing cymbals. There must be some flutes and violins. Living cannot be all crescendo. There must be some dynamic contrast." Unquote. And that was Maxwell. Here are some of my key takeaways from this episode. Number one, Patience does not mean indifference. We should still care about the situations we are going through. Number two, patience doesn't mean sitting idly by, waiting for things to happen. We should still be actively seeking our goals. Number three, having patience can help us avoid making bad decisions. Number four, patience can help us set realistic expectations for ourselves and others. 
Number five, patience allows us to see things through other people's perspectives. And number six, the periods of life where we have to wait give us time to reflect and prepare. If you like this episode, please subscribe to the free Monetization Nation e-magazine or subscribe on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, our Facebook group, or on your favorite podcast platform so you can receive future episodes of Monetization Nation. Thanks for joining me for this episode. I wish you success in leveraging the power of patience.